All right, Pisces. Let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective today. Holy Spirit, angels and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. You are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. Let's see what messages we have for Pisces Collective today. Okay, so you guys got the dog close up, pleasure with the close friend. So you got the rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. All right, Pisces, what y'all doing? Okay, you got the wreath, sorrow over a loss. This is kind of giving rebound energy. Um, doesn't have to be that. We'll see in just a moment. But um, you got throne, position of authority. What else, please, for Pisces? Last card. What else do we have? And the boat. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. All right, Pisces. All right, why is the dog here for Pisces? Can you tell us more about this, Holy Spirit? Pleasure with a close friend. Why do we need to know about this? Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. The Nine of Cups. Okay. Someone here could be coming in rather quickly. Or there could be some type of impulsive... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, tell me more. Pleasure with a close friend. Justice in the reverse. And the Ten of Cups. Didn't see that coming. Okay. Um, so a lot of water energy here. Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. I don't know. Someone here could be... What did I see? I see marriage and, um, shit, what was it? Marriage and, um, oh, pay attention to your health with the cane. Those two cards came out and they flipped upright and I looked at them. Anyway, so someone here could be, um, doing something selfish or self-serving. This could be someone who's married, but whatever they're doing, it could be unfair, unjust, um, or just dishonest in general. Okay. Let's keep going. I may come back to that. Too much concern with sexual matters. What's this about? The star, Aquarian energy, the tower. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You got Scorpio, Aquarius out here as well with the Tower and the Star and the Four of Cups. I don't know. Someone here could have too much concern. Like someone could be dealing with someone who has too much concern with sexual matters, like, <laughs> I don't know why I feel uncomfortable talking about this, but anyway, um, somebody could be hopeful, like hoping for a divorce or hoping for some type of, you know, breakdown of a foundation because they're not fucking happy. 
okay, this could be someone who is loyal, very much so a grounded, um, nurturing, practical person. Okay, this could be you, this could be someone else, but somebody could be dealing with someone who just has too much damn concern with sexual matters. With justice in the reverse, somebody here may feel like something is... This could be a marriage, okay? Why is the wreath here? Sorrow over a loss. Judgment. The fool in the reverse. So somebody's making a decision here because someone here is being foolish or careless or they're just being reckless. You got Scorpio Aries energy out here. Ace of Cups. Somebody here may be wanting new love. Eight of Swords. Eight, eight of Swords in the reverse. So yeah, this is breaking free of a situation. Someone here is making a decision to break free from something where they feel stuck, they feel bound. Someone here is going through some type of an awakening as well with judgment and the Ace of Cups. They're gaining some type of emotional clarity and taking accountability for a situation. Someone could have been naive to someone's shenanigans as well. Like, yeah. Show me position of authority. Why is this here? The Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> I feel like someone here is taking a practical stance on something or someone's planning something, trying to persevere over a situation. Again, the Nine of Cups in the reverse, Ace of Pentacles upright in the Fool. So someone here is just, for a long time, someone hasn't been happy. This could be somebody who sits in a high position or in high regard or has some type of status. It could be you, it could be someone else, okay? I feel like someone's freeing themselves and taking some type of a leap of faith towards a new opportunity. Yeah, I feel like someone here knows their worth. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Six of Cups. There could be a, a delay um, with something moving forward or somebody here could feel like... Um, Increase your efforts. This could have been in the past as well. Like somebody could have felt like they, like there was, um, it's so crazy. This card says micro communication. So in the past, there could have been little, you know, little, little communication on the bottom of the deck. You also have the wheel indecisive indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly so somebody here could have been kind of prolonging some some type of forward movement increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals but i feel like someone is stepping in these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do one day these boots are gonna walk all over you <laughs> someone's I feel like someone's taking like someone here is very independent self-sufficient someone may have strong Virgo placement in their chart who I'm talking to yes yeah, strong literally strength card with the nine of pentacles strong Virgo strong Virgo placement Leo energy is here as well Leo Virgo could be significant um but I feel like someone here is um 
finding the inner courage and the inner strength to become single from a situation or separate themselves, go about their way, be independent. I also feel like someone here is very hardworking or very, very like self-sufficient. Yeah, whoever I'm talking to in the past, there could have been some type of someone could have been experiencing some type of setbacks or delays when it came to moving forward. But I feel like this is a I feel like someone is starting to increase their effort or increase their goals or stepping into their power, stepping into their strength and um, mm hmm. I felt like I just ran through that. I sure did. Wow. Okay. <laughs> What's his justice in the reverse here? You have justice in the reverse. And then the next card is the tower, the moon. Yeah. So somebody could be trying to like, see, so, okay. So if somebody is in a commitment or with somebody, somebody here is sneaking around or being deceptive or they're lying. Some, whoever somebody is connected to, like in a commitment. Wow. Did I just really pick that up? Are you the third party Pisces? That someone's sneaking around with? Pleasure with a close friend. Are you sleeping with someone who's married? Damn, didn't see that one coming either. Oh, for someone here, you may be the person that someone is, like, you may be the one that's sleeping with a married man and they plan on leaving their marriage. Or that's what they're telling you, that they're planning on leaving their marriage. If this is a friend of yours, I'm pretty sure you would know that this person is married, so... No judgment, but uh, okay. Yeah, so why is someone's why is sorrow over a loss here? The lovers, Gemini energy, the Ten of Wands reversed. Um, because someone's making a major choice or decision here to drop drop some dead weight or to release something that some type of baggage or burdens. There could be a soulmate connection here. Five of Cups. And the Hermit Virgo energy. Either someone here has been waiting patiently for someone to make a decision and someone is like in despair. Ten of Wands in the reverse. There 
goes that damn king of pentacles so this king of pentacles there could have been okay so this king of pentacles could have had a false start with somebody or that's what it feels like because there you were stuck in another situation that they were in the process of releasing but they're also going to lose out like they're going to take a financial hit due to this like this could have been a very like um a connection where that was very stable and secure so why I feel like there could have been a connection, like somebody is in a connection that was very stable and secure, but one person was stepping out with someone who is their emotional fulfillment. There could even be a family or a child here, but whatever they were doing was unfair. It was unjust, but this is their wish. Like somebody, somebody's like, okay, so whoever was doing the cheating, their wish is something else or someone else it could be a family dynamic but they're they were in a secure marriage i feel like the feminine is like i've i'm fucking <laughs> like i feel like this feminine is hopeful that this that this shit will crumble too so whoever this man is married to she, i think she's like hopeful that this will crumble too because she ain't happy either she bored and discontent up in this joint as well she ain't getting you know she knows that she ain't getting like this is something that makes sense on like paper or financially or like two people who are staying together because the finances or because the resources or because of something. They're staying together because of something. But she's like, dude, this person, I don't feel like she's interested. Four cups. Like she ain't interested. This could be some type of a, um, a light worker or a healer herself. Someone who's very inspirational. I feel like she feels like this person brings chaos or destruction and they have too much concern with sexual matters. And this person is sneaking around. So what they regret, like losing a soulmate, withdrawing and making a decision to invest into something else. I don't know. I feel like somebody here, okay, with this throne position of authority, somebody here made, and I'm not saying, I'm reading the cards, okay? I'm not saying this is me saying this. This is the cards, okay? Somebody here made a practical, they made, in their mind, they made a practical risk, took a leap of faith because they seen potential or an opportunity. However, this was not their wish fulfillment. Or it's not emotionally fulfilling in some type of way. So there could have been a past life soulmate. There was some type of delay. But now somebody's finding the strength and the courage to separate or become single or independent. Or now somebody has gathered the strength and the courage and they are independent on their own. Or somebody here feels like they, you know, have the means to do whatever to release themselves and go towards this new beginning. Wreaths are over lost. Somebody has been mourning something. I almost
almost feel like someone's been like withdrawn from someone they have a soul tie with. And now that someone has released some type of responsibilities or burdens, they've been mourning and reflecting on something. Impatiently waiting to like make a major decision or to reconcile with wh whomever this person is. Somebody made a reckless decision to like get themselves out of a situation where they felt bound, but whatever they did, they weren't happy. Like they did it because they felt like it was a practical risk and they seen potential for an opportunity, but it was not their wish fulfillment. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling. So somebody took it. So it's almost like somebody did something. Am I making sense or do I have to like repeat myself? I don't know. <laughs> somebody here made a decision to get themselves out of one situation but it wasn't ideal or it's not what they wanted but they did something to fix one thing I don't know Anyways, whatever. Oh shit, there goes that Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Strength card. And the Queen of Swords, gosh. And the Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups, I mean. Eight of Wands, nine of, Knight of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. You know, another way I can read this too, somebody here could have um, needed to heal from something that was very chaotic in their life and could have rejected this Queen of Pentacles who could, been a, who could have been the soulmate, who could have been you, Pisces. And now somebody's, and so there was some type of delay in the past and now somebody's finding, now somebody's seeing somebody as like, you know, financially secure, loving, strong, intelligent, wish fulfillment, and they're wanting to come rushing in and work on something with this past life soulmate. I feel like this person is stressed out because of a impulsive decision that was made to in order to obtain some type of success or somebody some type of Yeah, somebody, someone here created some type of conflict within a family dynamic, did something that was unfair, unjust. You guys put yourself where you fit. I'm going to leave this here. Um, let's get three cards to close this reading out. So this could go two ways. I, I think I said in both. So if you need to like rewatch, but you got declutter. Now, uh, declutter your life and let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. All right. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. You got travel, long distance communication will open up your life, exciting experience for singles and career advancement for others and assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. The birth of a child is also likely. Hmm. Yeah. Two 
So you could, this could have been like, why are we talking about this now? Something here could have been delayed or something could have backfired in the past because somebody here needed to like increase their efforts or something or maybe somebody was lacking goals. You have indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Somebody here could have been like on some type of like, uh, like, um, like had no, had no, um, had no like long-term vision or goals or something like somebody here could have just been like in the matrix so they say and somebody here had to almost i don't know if that was the right way to put that but like somebody here could have been swimming through a void <laughs> All right, but not really like with it. lacking direction. Okay, there we go. Somebody here could have been like lacking direction or and there was some type of a delay because somebody here had to like overcome something when it came to their independence. I don't know. It seems like there was a delay for a soulmate connection, but in the process, somebody here got wronged. Uh, yeah, there could be two storylines here that I could read. So for some of you guys, you are this queen of pentacles. For others of you guys, you're a third party too. Um, to someone you had a false start with. Or who feels like they had a false start with you. Alright, I'm going to leave this reading here. Let me know how this resonates. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.